All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, today I have a suggestion made from the uh, the comment section of another video. Um, this one's called "Using Numbers to Find the Most Difficult NBA Championship Ever Won." This is a Jimmy High Roller video, and uh, yeah, we're gonna check this out together. Um, if you can do me a favor and uh, leave this video a like now, that would really help this video perform. And uh, yeah, check out Jimmy X. Jimmy, uh, I keep calling him Jimmy X. Check out Jimmy High Roller if you like this content. And um, yeah, I have the link to the original video down below. All right, let's not uh, waste any time. Let's get right to this. Uh, real quick, who do I think is going to win this? Who won the most difficult NBH? Oh, shoot. That's hard. That's hard. I really don't have a guess right now. Let's find out, here we go. On Sunday night, the Los Angeles Lakers wrapped up this long and grueling season with a championship. A storybook ending for LeBron, AD, and the Lakers organization. And now that the season is over, I wanted to take a deep dive into something that has been circulating over the last few days. This championship being one of the easiest to win in recent years. Not only did I crunch the numbers to find out if there was any truth to this claim, the result that I got is one you have to see to believe. All right, I got a wild card guess. Um, Detroit Pistons, 2004, when they beat the Lakers. Definitely the hardest finals, but I don't know if that would be like the hardest championship run. With LeBron claiming his fourth ring, the tone among NBA fans hasn't changed much. Some people love to see it, others don't. This was about as predictable <laughs> as it gets, hence the title of my last video. With many NBA fans <laughs> saying really this didn't. season was so different and unconventional that this particular championship should have an asterisk next to it. Or, as some call it, the Mickey Mouse Rec League Championship. <laughs> but was. looking at this from an objective it's point of Mickey view, Mouse ring. where does this championship run rank all time in terms of difficulty? What championship team had the hardest run to a title? Um, and I know a lot of people say that was, that was a really hard one. I'm willing to bet right now it was not even in like the top 10 most difficult championship runs. Which championship team had the easiest run? Well, I started this search for the ultimate championship run and quickly came across this Reddit post from four years ago. This Reddit user came up with a simple way of measuring the difficulty of a team's title run by using an advanced stat called the Simple Rating System, or SRS. This stat measures a team's margin of victory throughout the season adjusted for strength of schedule. Basically, this stat quantifies how good a team is. For example, this season the Bucks had the highest SRS in the entire league of 9.41, followed by the Clippers, Lakers, and Raptors. Interesting. So that was that was a couple years ago though. This video is a little old. Okay, so he's going by a, a simple rating system scale. Just like any other stat, it has its flaws, but overall it's a great indicator of how great or terrible a team is. He then added up the total SRS values for every team that each championship team beat in the playoffs. For example, in okay. 2017, the Warriors beat the Blazers, Jazz, Spurs, and Cavaliers. Add up the SRS scores for each of those teams, and the difficulty of the Warriors' 2017 championship run is 13.77. So, now that we understand how this all works, here is the list of championship runs ranked in terms of difficulty. With Wow, on the uh, the Rockets 95. That's actually really surprising. This is really surprising too. Lakers in 01. Bulls 97. Really? And then the other two Lakers. Wow. I'm shocked by that. Where was my guess? Uh... <laughs> Whoop, there it is, number 26, I was way off. The 1995 Rockets having the most difficult path to a championship and the 1987 Lakers having the easiest path to a championship. This list only includes championships dating back to the 1984 season since that is when the 16-team playoff system was introduced. So, with the last 37 championship teams listed, where do the 2020 Lakers land? All the way down, at 35. I freaking knew it. In the last 37 seasons, 
only two championship teams faced easier competition than the Lakers faced in this season's there playoffs. There we go. In my I last knew video, it. I, I knew it. I'm willing to bet his other three rings are right there, too. Maybe the Cleveland one might be a little challenging. I, I didn't actually look for that. So we'll see. We'll see as this goes on. Talked about how the Lakers' path to a title this season was no easier than any other championship teams. Yes, it was. And I literally could not have been more wrong. Not only was their path easy, it was nearly the easiest path of the All last... All right, let's, let's go hunting. Where is it? Um, if there's anyone that says Cavs, here we go. Cavs 2016. Okay. So that was the seventh most, most difficult. I figured that one was, was, was a hard one considering, um, they had Golden State at the end of the line there. Um, but yeah. Okay. Let's see the rest of them. Look for Miami. Okay. That doesn't count. That's D Wade. Okay. So... 22 and then 34. Yep. So three out of four LeBron titles were really pretty easy. He had one challenging one. And that's the one I still give him some respect for, what he did in Cleveland. 37 seasons. But let's take a deeper look into some of these numbers. The first thing that jumped out at me was that the Shaq and Kobe Lakers yeah. three-peat featured three of the top five most difficult paths to a championship. That is unbelievable. And even crazier is that in 2001, the Lakers I mean, nearly Antonio. swept the playoffs, going 15-1 and one while facing the second most difficult opponents in the process. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah. That Portland team was pretty damn good. Sacramento, I'm free, I was forgetting about them. And um, San Antonio Spurs, that, I guess that is. That is a hell of a ride to the championship. So if you've ever wondered what team was the most dominant in the last 35 seasons, I think there is your answer. Now, if we highlight each decade, then we can see which 10 year span featured the most difficult runs to a championship. What the hell was going on in 97? What the hell happened there? Why was it so, why was it so hard? I know Utah was hell, was, was killer. I mean, still. The East was just strong back then, man. And for the most part, each decade had similar levels of difficulty, except the 80s. But this was because for most of the 80s, the league only had 23 teams, which meant a 16-team playoff format featured many teams with losing records. Simply <laughs> put, the league was still good, but it was super top-heavy with bad teams making the yeah. playoffs. With that being said, it's still shocking just how easy it was to get deep into the playoffs in the 80s. So, you know how the NBA has been a bit one-sided throughout recent history in terms of talent level in each conference? Well, this next graphic highlights just that. When graphing the most difficult paths to a championship right, using SRS scores on the y-axis, you can see that the West has won four of the five toughest yeah. championships since 1984. The West has also won 12 of the 20 most difficult titles in the last 37 seasons. Four of those eight titles from the East coming at the hands of Michael Jordan and the Bulls. Crazy. So, like, yeah. Jordan dominated the hardest of the East and Kobe dominated the hardest of the West. Go freaking figure. Here are Michael Jordan's six titles. Here are Kobe's five Look at championships. That. Look at that. Every single one of them having a very high degree of difficulty. And here are LeBron's four huh. championships. Now, strictly <laughs> considering how challenging each of these championships... And everyone tries to make excuses for his losses, like things were lopsided. He had it easy, man. ...runs were, which collection of championships looks more impressive? At face value, Kobe's rings are easily yeah. the greatest collection of tough titles in the Absolutely, modern Absolutely, because Kobe's got f all five up there. He didn't have one easy one. And uh, Jordan has uh, two sort of easy, I guess. But he had four four of the, the most difficult, but he did have two that weren't so hard. NBA. Poor Kobe. Now consider the fact that Mike and LeBron received finals MVP in every one of their championship seasons, and Kobe won the award just two out of five times. Yep. And for some more reference, here are Magic Johnson's last three championships. Wow. I've said it before, and I cannot stress this enough. 
Not every championship is built the sure. same. And when you start considering other variables like who did they play with, was there any significant injuries, and how well did they play in the finals, you begin to see just how ridiculous it is to base the foundation of your GOAT debate on purely how many rings a player has. Most would agree that five rings beats four, but what <laughs> if the five rings were won on a relatively easy path while the four were won on a more difficult path? And before we move on, that I would just mean want to something if LeBron's championships were an aren't all easy. So I still got magic on this one. Point out that this era of the NBA, the 90s and early 2000s, was easily the most competitive time in basketball. Just something to yeah. think about. So after seeing just how different each title run can be, one surprising aspect of this experiment that jumped out at me was the fact that the best two teams don't always end up in the finals. In fact, rarely do the best two teams end up in the finals. For example, in the 2001 playoffs, the Lakers faced off against the 76ers in the finals. This was possibly the biggest finals mismatch <laughs> in recent history. Yeah, but, but still AI got one. AI got one. That was a hard one, but he got one. NBA fans knew this at the time. However, just how big of a mismatch this was is absurd. <laughs> On their path to the finals, the Lakers beat the Blazers, the Kings, and the Spurs. All of these teams had a higher SRS score than the 76ers. Wow. Of course, this is a rather simple metric to grade how good a team is. And but I believe they, yeah, no, I, I'm sure of it, actually. Swept, swept, swept. And they were going for a clean sweep. But... My homie Allen Iverson snuck one away so they didn't get a perfect playoff season. But yeah, imagine that. It just shows how good AI is or how good AI was. He mustered up a win despite them being the worst team out of the entire Lakers playoff run. It is not a stretch to say that the Lakers faced better teams at every stage leading up to the finals than they did in the yep. finals. In 2018, the Warriors beat the Spurs, the Pelicans, and the oh, wow. Rockets on their way to the finals to face the Cavs. Each of these Western Conference wow, teams look at this. No wonder why. Statistically better than the Cavaliers. So, think to yourself. How many players and teams have been eliminated before the finals that could have made the finals if they were just in a different conference? How many NBA mm -hmm. championships were decided in the Western Conference? This is why, although I'm a certified LeBron fanboy, I don't put as much weight into his 10 finals appearances as other fans. I have to consider the fact that during those finals runs, the East was considerably worse than the West, and if LeBron and the Cavs were in the West, they may not have even saw the nope. finals. That's also the second part of what makes this whole LeBron went to 10 champ finals argument. So, like, it doesn't mean crap to me. One, he lost six, he won four. Okay, that's one. And actually, if we're talking about in the East, then he won three and lost six. Because he lost all six in the East, right? Yeah. All right, so three, th three and six is his record in the East. And then you add on top of that that he was beating terrible teams to get to the championship. So they might not have even been in the playoffs those years if they were in the West, let alone make it all the way to the finals. So, like, if they would have went to the, 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 the finals and won those years, super impressive. Super impressive. But the fact that he got to the finals doesn't mean much because the East was weak and he didn't finish a job. That's one thing you can't say about Jordan. Even if you want to pretend like the East was weak in that era, which they weren't, but say, okay, fine, take that argument. Say the East was weak. Well, doesn't mean shit because when Jordan got to the finals, he won all six. So he beat the best of the West every single time. So that argument's void. But it's very applicable with, with the LeBron James argument. I don't think he would. I don't know. LeBron would not been to very many championships if he was in the West his entire career. That's why, like, you know, he's hit and miss making the playoffs these days. I made the playoffs last year, uh, play in this year, play in the year before that, you know, and then miss the playoffs also. Like, it's, it's pretty embarrassing. So just how easy was the Lakers' path to a championship this season? Quite frankly, 
It was historically yep. easy. But the craziest part about all of this is that in 20 years, no one will care about the details. Just like how no one cares that three of Magic's five rings were won on easy paths. Just like how the 99 Spurs snagged a relatively easy ring during the most difficult era of the NBA. Just like how MJ's path to his first two rings were immensely easier than the path to his last That's four. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yep. So his harder challenge came when he was older. This one's interesting. Cause yeah, this this was a tough a tough run, and it took it took Jordan scoring forty one points a game to beat the the Phoenix Suns that year. Cause the Phoenix Suns were just a better team, but Jordan was the better player, so he found a way to win. But that one's interesting. So that was his first year back. Second year back was really tough. It's, <laughs> I really want to want to understand a little more what what happened in ninety seven to make it so so tough. And then it went back to balance in 98. It doesn't matter because it doesn't change anything. Regardless of how you get it, a ring is still a ring. And although they aren't all built the same, they all shine just as bright. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, until next time. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I, uh, I don't know. What should we talk about down low? First of all, I was way off. How close were you guys? Did you guys nail your guess? Because um, I was not even freaking close. Um, you know what? It's something that, that that Jimmy Jimmy kept bringing up in this video that's kind of like bugging me a little bit is the whole Magic Johnson thing. So three of his five championships were on the easy end. All right. Well, he's got three. So that's three out of his five. LeBron's got four, and three out of those four were super easy, too. So, answer this down below. What's more impressive, Magic's five or Bron's four? We all know about Jordan. His six are way more impressive than either of these, and Kobe's five are even more impressive than that. So, yeah, answer that question down below. Uh, if you haven't liked this video yet, please do so. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow on the next video. Please subscribe if you want more of this content. I'm releasing stuff every day. And yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.